Within this lesson, we will solve multi-step word problems. We'll use tape diagrams, and we will assess the reasonableness of our answers by using rounding. Here we have a factory used 12,378 feet of wool, 3,752 fewer feet of cotton than wool, and 2,301 fewer feet of silk than cotton. How many feet were used in all? How many different fabrics do we have here? Right, we have three different fabrics. There was blank feet of fabric used in all. One of our knowns is that we have three different types of fabrics. One of those is wool, and we know that it's 12,378 feet of wool. Our next clue is that we have 3,752 fewer feet of cotton than wool. So I'll label it C for cotton, and remember that's smaller. It's smaller than the amount for the wool. And in fact, we know how much smaller it is. It is 3,752 feet smaller, and so we label that. Finally, we have silk. And silk, it states, it's 2,301 fewer feet of silk than cotton. So this is actually smaller than the cotton by 2,301. So we will go step by step to figure each of those out. I shrunk that a little bit so I could have a little bit more room. And we'll start with this right here the wool and the cotton. We know the wool is this length here. Cotton is only up to here. And the difference between the two is 3,752. So we'll go ahead and take 12,378 and subtract 3,752 to be able to get that missing amount. 8 minus 2 is 6. 7 minus 5 is 2. 3 minus 7 can't do that. 2 becomes a 1. 3 becomes 13, 13 minus 7 is 6, and then one more regroup here, so I get 11 minus 3 being 8. So I know that the amount of cotton is 8,626. There is actually one more thing, an adjustment that I need to make on my bar diagram. I want the total number of wool, cotton, and silk. So right now, I have 8,626 here, and I know that from the silk here, I need this portion here that's missing, plus the 2,301, equaling 8,626. So to figure out the amount of silk, then, I have 8,626, and I will subtract 2,301, because the amount of silk is... 2,301 fewer than cotton. 6 minus 1 is 5, 2 minus 0 is 2, 6 minus 3 is 3, and 8 minus 2 is 6. So there's no regrouping there. No problem. Wool, cotton, silk. I have those three amounts for all of the fabric that was used in all. So I will carefully Write out those numbers to be able to add them all together. In the ones, I have 8 plus 6 is 14, plus 5 is 19, 9, regroup a 1. 1 and 7 is 8, 2 more is 10, 2 more is 12, 2 and regroup a 1. I have 13 in the next column, 17 in the next column, and then in the 10 thousands place, I have 1 plus 1 equaling 2. So there was 27,329 feet of fabric used in all. If I had done some rounding here to the nearest thousands place, this is what I would have gotten in each of these cases here. I should really start with this up here with the 12,378 being 12,000, 3,752 being 4,000, 12,000 minus 4,000 is 8,000, not 9,000 that I had over there. So 8,000 minus 2,000, because that's 2,301, 
would be 6,000. Uh, what else do we have here? <clears throat> so this amount would have been about 8,000. This amount would have been about 6,000. And then the other amount that I didn't use yet would have been 12,000. So that's 12,000s. We have 8,000s and 6,000s where we're adding those together. 14, that would be 26,000s. Which is close to our actual feet of fabric. So our answer is reasonable. First off, take a moment to read the problem. Pause that video while you're reading the problem. Write out a focused answer. There were blank cones sold by the shop. How many different flavors were there? Four, right? So let's draw bars for the ones we know. And which values do we know? We know V for vanilla. And we also know C and CD for cookie dough. Cookie dough's was 7,290. Let's see. We can use our next clue. It says the shop sold 1,052 more Rocky Road cones than cookie dough. So for Rocky Road, we'll start with the cookie dough amount, and then it says to go um, 1,052 more. So this 7,790 also describes that amount there that I just indicated on the bar. Finally, I have um, one more flavor, chocolate, which was 888 more chocolate than vanilla. So this time I start with the bar, the length of the vanilla, and to that I extend it another 888. The vanilla was 8205. So, we're trying to figure out all the cones all together. The number for the vanilla, the cookie dough, the rocky road, and the chocolate. We're given already vanilla and cookie dough's numbers, but we have to figure out the rocky road by putting together the numbers 7,290 along with 1,052. When I carefully add those two together, what I get is 8,342. And so that is the amount for the Rocky Road. For chocolate, I'm putting together the numbers 8,205 along with 888 because it was 888 more chocolate cones than vanilla. Five plus eight is 13. In the tens place, I have one plus eight equaling nine. I have two hundreds plus eight hundreds equaling ten hundreds. That's why I can place a zero and regroup a one to the thousands place. One plus eight is nine. So there's 9,093 chocolate cones. Finally, I can take all of those numbers and carefully add them together. The 8,205 vanilla cones, the 7,290 chocolate that's not chocolate, but cookie dough cones. Um, and then the two I figured out. In the ones place, that's 10. Zero, regroup a one. One and nine is 10. Plus four is 14. Plus nine is 23. Three, regroup the two. Two, four, six, and a nine there. And then in the... Um, Thousands place, that's 8 plus 7 is 15, plus another 8 is 23, plus 9 is 32. So that's 32,930 cookie cones, that is, sold by the shop. I must really, really want cookies or something. Let's look at some estimates. So vanilla is about 8,000. 
gonna write out some estimates in just yellow here. Cookie dough, 7,209 is about 7,000. For a rocky road, I have to use some numbers because this is about 1,000 and it was 1,000 more than 7,000. So 7,000 and 1,000 is 8,000. And then for the chocolate, again, it was 888 more, which is about 1,000 more than vanilla. So this was 8,000 plus another 1,000 is 9,000. Carefully adding those together, those are thousands. 9 and 8 is 17, plus 7 is 24, plus 8 is 32. So it's about 32,000, which seems reasonable, seeing that my exact answer is 32,930 cones sold by the shop.